Thank you. And uh, now I'm ready to move into the next call. All right. I'm thinking Timothy. Yeah, let's jump to Timmy. In California. I just said Timmy. Timothy is the name of my younger brother, so every time I see Timothy, I'm like, Timmy. Sorry. I think South Park when you say Timmy. Okay. Didn't mean to <laughs> That's okay. make this awkward and familiar. <laughs> what would you like to talk about, <laughs> Timothy? Hello. Um, thank you guys for having the show. Um, I'm, I'm happy that Charlie and V are in better places now. <laughs> um, but really, I wanted to talk about how I have I have a lot of issues um, practicing skepticism because I feel like so much of our knowledge is secondhand, and I don't know like like how you really uh, work with that. Mm-hmm. And I'd also like to. Um, what got me to call in was um, the episode from a couple of weeks ago when Josh was calling about the hollow moon and the aliens and mm-hmm. oh, and, yeah, uh, that. and all that. Yeah, the, mm-hmm. the moon mm-hmm. that rotates. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. But, yep. Yeah. Right. The one I real fucked up. <laughs> right. Yep. Yep. Right. So, you, so, you know, I actually uh, j- just, I've gotten so much shit about the moon thing. Um, no, and I it, deserve it. I deserve it. I fucked up. I, I and it's hilarious. But uh, I, I've been working on a website. Um, I just bought the domain, and I need to build the entire thing. It's just Lorem Ipsum right now. Like tile um, lock is real. <laughs> no, no, no. It's ericdmurphy.com. Eric D. Murphy, the Moon Guy, and that's all that's there so far. He's embracing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to, got to lean into it. All right. What's but. up? All right. <laughs> cool. So the thing is. Not knowing something is fine. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we learn that at first I was thrown off just like how hard you were fighting that the moon spun more, faster. Um, but, but what really got me was the quick turnaround. Like, like what convinced you that tidal lock was real? In the in, I I guess your um your chat. Oh like, my! Like, like 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 what was able to convince you so quickly? Like I understand you were already in a position to not trust what Josh was saying based sure. on his previous claims. Um, so you're like no. Absolutely. So mm-hmm. while I explain it, um, could I get a volunteer to walk in here really quick? Rachel, could you help me out, please? Matt's the one with the magic show, Eric, just so you know. Right. Could you get the two books that are in the back seat of my car, please? Back seat of your car? Sure. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I was given some educational materials. I wanted to share them on the show. <laughs> um, so right, right. The, the, first, uh, the first hint was when I looked at the live chat and I saw people in horror going, No! <laughs> <laughs> and then I looked out on the uh, looked out at the the sea of faces of people going no, and then I looked down at the the comments from the uh, the people in the back, and they were like, "What are you doing?" And um, th- th- that was a hint. That was a hint. The other thing is I have I have the internet uh, right right here at my fingertips, and I looked at it and checked it out, and um, you know. It, uh, seeing consistently people, you know, who have tracked the moon um, and had any, you know, a third grade education, uh, <laughs> were able to, you know, convince me. Um, and also, it's an it's not a remarkable claim. I mean, whether or not we saw the moon in its entirety doesn't change the way I understand the universe. It just means it changes the way I understand the way the moon spins. Um, right, right. And honestly, I really do pride myself on going, hey, you know what? I fucked up. You know, let's let's make this better. Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, which is important. And so as soon uh, as I saw I fucked up, I wanted to own it and go, hey, you know what? I fucked up. Thank you so much. And uh, Yeah, and that was awesome. It also helps that I have friends who care. Um, so <laughs> Matt, Matt Dillahunty was in the audience, and he just thought that was fucking hilarious. So he ran down to the Half Price Books 
uh, just down the street. And uh, I, I step out of the studio. I take my earbuds off. And Matt goes, Eric, I went and bought you some educational materials. Um, here you go. And he hands me these. Uh, you'll see them come up. They're children's moon books. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, it was great. It was great. It's like, why the moon changes? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. No, it's fucking wonderful. Um, but honestly, yeah, having friends like that is, is great. Um, but I think you're, you're, you're probably trying to dive into a deeper question is how do we know truth, right? Capital T truth versus lowercase t truth. And how do we determine that? Does, is that about right? Um, I think it's that, but also like sources, because um, I remember, I remember um, Josh was saying that like he picked up this stuff from documentaries he had been watching, mm-hmm. and and you had uh, Jen, right, I think, um, mm-hmm. Aldrich, were like no, no, the uh, documentaries, yes, but you both had on hand kind of the idea of the earth being blasted with something and a chunk of it spinning off and becoming the moon. Mm -hmm. Um, Was that through personal research or was it from a documentary? Was it from reading something and like... Uh, That's that's half remembered through primary education. Um, And then you just got to go back and, and check. And honestly, I should have said, I don't know. I should have said I don't know because, yeah, it happened in third grade and I don't remember everything from third grade. Uh, but uh, that's not an excuse for opening my mouth when I should have okay. said I don't know. Um, now, at what point does the rubber meet the road? You know, that that's kind of right. the bigger question. And there are a whole lot. For, let, let's, let's get the, the simple stuff out of the way. Um, if you want to talk about capital T truth, if you want to talk about whether or not something absolutely is, regardless of whether or not you like it, um, we can determine that in things that we define as such, right? So, um, uh, the people, you know, like to talk about married bachelors, right? Uh, all bachelors are not married. Why? Because we literally define it that way. We can say all bachelors are not married. Um... When we talk about things that we define to be true, then we can talk about deductive logic and move into that. But we really don't have access to that in our lives because every moment, every, everything that we experience is just anecdotal. It's, it's just our experience. And so how do you get away from the black swan fallacy, right? The black swan fallacy being all swans that I've ever seen are white, therefore there are no black swans or... Yeah, mm-hmm. and um, and then people say, "Oh, but I saw a black swan." Well, I, and and well, ju- just to make the absolute statement that black swans can't exist. Yeah. Um, you know how do you, how do you get out of that? Well, uh, first off, with just a lot of bit of humility, um, recognize, hey, you know what? I don't have all the facts, and that just means that I have a lot right. to learn, and I need to apportion my belief to the evidence. Um, When there's a lot of evidence of a thing, when you can see, and especially across multiple fields, right? We talk about things like evolution. And how do you know evolution is true? Well, because different areas of study have predicted things that that they've been able to find um, not just with their peers, but in entirely different places. And so... Um, when you're able to get that kind of thing that, that is being verified uh, by others, you know, it, it, it helps, it, it, com- it compiles. Um, but, uh, yeah, if, if it's something simple, if I told you, you know, I had Cheerios for breakfast, who, who the fuck cares? You know, I, 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 right? If, if you're going to tell me, hey, you know, you, you had a, a pastrami sandwich for lunch, cool, I believe you, I, I, I don't care. You know, um, but if you wanted me to invest my money you know, into a into a, a a fund that you've put together, then I I want to know a whole lot about you. I want to know what your history right. is and, 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 and how long you've been doing this for. Um, and you you kind of go that way. Um, you, you really don't know anything outside of that you exist. That cogitor ergo sum. Um, you could be a brain in a vat, but you have to live as if you're not. You have to live right. with the best information that you have available. And I think with with the 
the evolution statement. I, I know you uh, have to argue for evolution with all sorts of people, and like again, episode it, from. It's, from a couple from a couple of weeks ago, you were talking with Rudy, and Rudy's like, "Ah, but you have faith in science, and scientism, it, yeah, scientism, and all that." And you know, like scientific method, like it does its work, but um, most of us as laymen don't like we aren't in that, and we are just hearing, I, I like. But, you know, like, I think what Rudy was trying to get at is was that we trust that these people know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Or, well, maybe he doesn't. But but the rest of us, like, that's how we, like, so again, like, how do we... It's a tough question. Yeah, I think... Yeah, you know, like, like, especially when you get, like, um, uh, I don't know, fringe archaeology. Yeah, there. I think the, like that. the one thing that I'd say is, yeah, we don't, like, I don't have an advanced science degree. Eric doesn't have one unless mm. he's been keeping it a secret. Um, to throw a stop with the moon comment to make it seem like you didn't, you weren't <laughs> sitting on, like, a <laughs> biochemistry master's. Oh, um, could you imagine? But we can Right. The information is available to us if we want to invest years of study into it. Right. I can sign up at UT uh, to get another degree and have it be science focused. And the only limitation on that would be my ability to understand math and science, which would is essentially impossible at this point. But um, but no, like the information is there, whether or not we can access it. Uh, in our day to day is is different, and I say that the reason that's people can go to school, get these degrees, do the research, and come to the same conclusions, right? And that's the clincher right there because people can go to theology school, get a theology degree, but come out wildly on this side of things or over here, and there's so much discordant. Well, this is what it means. This is what it means, and that is troublesome for me. Uh, Whereas if I go get a science degree of whatever kind, I am going to learn how to do it and come to the conclusions that are predictable and predicted by others. So no, personally, I am going to have to take science on quote unquote faith because I don't have... Because of track record? No. No. The difference is evidence. The difference is evidence. But understanding where Timothy's coming from in terms of saying, well, I... I'm taking a scientist's word for it as opposed to a pastor's word for it. Like, I understand where that thought process comes from. The difference is I could also then become a scientist and prove that to myself, myself. And it's not the same on the other end. Yeah. I don't know if that was coherent at all. Um, to the degree that it needed to be communicated, yes. Okay, thank you. That was that was shade, but I deserve <laughs> it. I deserve that. I do the same thing. No worries. Um <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I mean, really, that that's it. Is apportion your belief to the evidence and find those things that have a lot a wealth of evidence, you know. And I, I think that's what V was saying is, you know, you go to an you go to a university and you find mountains of evidence on things that we've studied. We don't teach things we don't, you know, we haven't put work into studying. Um, and the more there is behind it, the more you can have a, a good degree of confidence. But even then, let's say you get to 99.9 bar. Don't say you have 100%. Because um, you don't. You could be wrong. And as long as we at least have that bit of humility, then maybe there's hope that we can keep learning. I'm nodding. <laughs> <laughs> Rock on. Well, hopefully that helped. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. I just wanted to get some thoughts on that. Yeah, cool. that was a great um, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Where are we at on Twitter followers? Now you've got me obsessing. Last I checked, we were tied. We were tied? Okay, we got 2502. I got 2503. <gasps> okay, it's still on. 
Come on, you guys, let me down. He's going to shoot past me by next week. I know. I've got I've to just enjoy <laughs> this in the moment. Also, someone was nice enough to point out I've also been on Twitter on this account like a third of the amount of time that you have, so. Yes, and your, you tweet 50 times more than I, I do. I put in the work, you, you mean? You put in the, yeah. I communicate with my followers. Mm -hmm. I care about their insight. Hold on, hold on. I didn't say I don't care. I just, I don't, I don't tweet very much. He cares. He just doesn't tweet. So you know what you're getting if you follow him. Um, you get updates. You find out what I'm up to, and you get to know how you can engage with me. But v. I, I also retweet his updates about what he's doing. So you get both by following me. Is, is this shade for shade? <laughs> is that what's going on? You're like, you know what? I got to throw just a little bit back. Okay, hey, I promised no, I was going to be insufferable, and I delivered. <laughs> <laughs>